The damper is a main part within a coupling. It is fastened to the body on the back of the coupling and the rear bolt on a coupling head. It's mounted pretty much the same on most couplings but every coupling is slightly different to fit. Uh, there are two ways of fitting a Bradley, cup, Bradley damper. It can be withdrawn out the back or withdrawn out the front. Not all, cu not all couplings allow you to withdraw the damper out the front. To do this, these two bolts need to be removed. Once the rear bolt is removed, uh, the damper will extend and will take any pressure off the front bolt, which usually makes it easy to knock the bolt out. Once the bolt's removed, the damper will come out the back. This is a 2.7 ton coupling, and the 2.7 ton and the 2 ton coupling have an eye on both ends of the damper. However, some other couplings that Bradley do have a thread on the front and an extension bar. The extension bar will need removing from the old damper and putting onto the new one. When it comes to refitting a damper, slide it back down the centre of the coupling and then you need to line the front bolt through the hole of the coupling. Then, as the damper is longer than the actual uh, hole centres, slide one of the bushes in the back and get a, a pry bar and ease the damper forwards. Once this is eased forwards, the bolt will drop in place Put the second bush in Once this is done, refit the rear bolt and torque both bolts to the correct tightness. If there isn't enough room to remove the damper from the back of the coupling, to change the damper, you undo the additional bolt on the head and slide the damper out the front of the jaw tube and it can be slid back in uh, from the front without removing the coupling. It is very rare that there's anything in the way but it can happen on some trailers. Other brands of couplings you 
will occasionally need to remove the uh, coupling to allow you to take the damper out. People regularly want to change a damper in a coupling. This is because there is no uh, dampening in the movement on the uh, coupling head and when they are stopping and setting off the damper is move the coupling is moving really fast without any restriction from the damper quite often the damper has gone because the brakes have got out of adjustment uh, this is the main cause of a damper failing and is the main reason is one of the reasons that you need to keep on top of brakes on a trailer because once the brakes go it then causes problems with parts on the coupling and becomes unsafe <laughs>